It's the American dream. Graduate from college with a degree in business, move to Wall Street, get a job working 80 hours a week that makes you hit your life, and maximize your profit. What's the meaning of life? It's show me the green. I want to see the cheddar. So, given all of that, dudes, let's talk about how we maximize profit. And here is the fact of glorious doom that you will be using all over the place in section 2.5 and even later. It is this. When profit is maximized, the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost. And Dudes, this is for a very simple reason that we don't have a lot of time to get into now. So if you want to know why this fact is true, you're going to have to wait until you cover maxima and minima using derivatives. And once that is true, you will learn all about this and, you know, more great things. For now, you're just going to have to take my word for it. If you're looking to maximize profit, one thing that you want to find is when marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Now, dudes, there's another way of looking at things, which is that um, profit is just revenue minus cost. And so sometimes you can just eyeball revenue, eyeball cost, and see when their difference is the biggest. So we'll talk about both of these things in a second. Check it out. Here's example number one. Maybe you see a table full of values like R prime and C prime and blah, blah, blah. And the question you are asked using this table is, when is profit maximized? So dudes, here's the thing. If we were just given graphs of R and C, in fact, let's assume that these graphs are just R and C. These are not derivatives for right now. If this is the case, we maximize profit by finding the point where R minus C is the biggest. And so you can literally just subtract your R minus C values, and you'll find out that the revenue and the cost are closest right here. And so in this case, profit would be maximized at x equals 10 because the profit that you would get would be the biggest number out of all of them. Take your r minus c that tells you profit, do that for all of these uh, x values, and you would find out that it's biggest at x equals 10. But dudes, that's not what we were asked originally. What we were asked originally is this is information about the derivatives of revenue and the derivatives of cost. And so now we want to know when the profit is maximized. And that's when we use the fact that r prime means marginal revenue and C prime means marginal cost so marginal is just a fancy word for derivatives dudes that's a key thing to keep in your meat brains and that means we can go back up and use this rule that profit is maximized means that the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost this is just a fancy way for saying if we're trying to find how we maximize profit we're just looking for the point where the derivatives are basically equal and so if you just eyeball this, here the derivatives are not basically equal. Um, here also the numbers are pretty different. Uh, but they get closer and closer together. And the point where they're closest together on this table is at x equals 40. And when x equals 40, the derivative of revenue and the derivative of cost are almost exactly the same. The marginal revenue is almost exactly equal to the marginal cost. And so you could come up with maybe two different good answers here. You could say at x equals 40. And remember, this usually means like 40 items. Or if you wanted to say something like at x equals 39, then that would be a pretty good guess too. Um, now, when you do these sorts of problems on web work or on a test, it'll be pretty clear what you're looking for. So maybe these two numbers will be exactly equal instead of very close. Um, or it'll say, you know, find the best guess. Your answer should be a multiple of 10. Something like that. Something to make what your answer should be unambiguous. But for here, you could basically say x equals 40, they're really close. Uh, maybe x equals 39 is even a better guess as to where r prime might be equal to c prime. So dudes, that's cool, I guess. And now, let's do the exact same idea, but instead of a table, let's do a graph. Oh, and dudes, before we do this graph, let me remind you that um, if we went back up here and we were given a similar table with just r and c, then just like I talked about before, we could just subtract the numbers and see when the profit was biggest, or we could even calculate the slopes. We could calculate r prime and c prime using our usual table method, and then see when the derivatives that we got uh, matched up, when r prime was equal to c prime. All right, so let's go on to this graph thing. We've got a graph, and it's a graph of stuff. And the first question we might be asked is this. This graph represents plain old revenue, plain old cost, nothing marginal about it. And what we're trying to find is when the profit is maximized. So dudes, like always, profit equals revenue minus cost. And if you look at revenue minus cost, that's just the difference in Y values. So maybe I'm trying to find the profit at 
x equals 2. And that is just the top guy minus the bottom guy. The profit is literally the length of that vertical line segment. So you can use this to compare various ideas, like the profit at 1 is obviously smaller, because that length you get is smaller, shorter, if you will. Uh, the profit at 10, also not that big, dirt, 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 dirt. woo -hoo -hoo. small number. But dudes around like x equals 8 and x equals 6 and x equals 4, we get some pretty fat lines. That's cool, I guess. So right around there is, uh, you know, between 4 and 8, let's say. That's when our profit is going to be maximized. So keeping that in mind, let's think about like um, not just the vertical distance, but the other thing we said, which is that profit is maximized when marginal revenue equals marginal cost. And marginal is just a fancy word for derivative, people. How many times do I have to say it? So we're trying to find a point where the derivatives are equal. So what we could do is literally just kind of eyeball it, sketch some tangent lines, and try to find the point where the tangent lines have the same slope. Because tangent line equals derivative, and derivative equals marginal. So um, if you kind of eyeball it, I would say it looks to me right around here. We got a tangent line that looks like that. Oh, that's the worst tangent line I've ever seen. Let's do that again. Derp, 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 whoop, derp, 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 derp. It's only a little bit better. And then right beneath that, we got a tangent line that looks like that. Very similar tangent lines. Uh, tangent lines of basically the same slope at that point. And if you move a little bit left, the tangent lines won't exactly match up in slope. If you move a little bit right, they won't exactly match up in slope. And so it looks to me like at x equals 5, we have the maximized profit. And so dudes, like I said before, you can think about this in two ways. At x equals 5, that's when the tangent lines seem to have the same slope. And so that's when the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost, because marginal equals derivative equals slope of the tangent line. Or you can try to be a little more precise about eyeballing this vertical distance. And you can say, um, OK, at like x equals 4, we get that distance, which is pretty good. But at x equals 5, it looks like that distance is even bigger. And at x equals 6, it looks like that distance isn't quite as big. It looks like the vertical distance is biggest at x equals 5. Either of these approaches works fine. You have to be able to do both depending on the situations. So for this one, just pick whichever one you're most comfortable with. All right, so dudes, that's how we think about this. But here is an alternate version of the problem. What if the above graph doesn't represent revenue and cost? What if it represents marginal revenue and marginal costs? Then when is the profit maximized? And dudes, this question is actually much easier than the one that we just did, because check it out. Profit is maximized when marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Now, before we had to say the graph was the graph of revenue and cost, and so to talk about marginal, we have to look at slopes of tangent lines. But now if we're saying that the graph that we see is already marginal revenue and cost, then we're just finding the point where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. We're just finding the points where the two graphs overlap, yo. And so for number two, our answers are either going to be um, one half, which is this point right here, or it's going to be 11, which is this point right here. So that's x equals 11, and this is um, x equals one half. Those are the two points where the graphs cross. And so if these graphs mean marginal revenue and marginal cost, that's the two points where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So we would say profit is maximized at x equals 1 half or x equals 11. No big deal, dudes. So you just got to keep in mind what the graphs mean and then use the marginal revenue equals marginal cost equation and uh, go from there. All right, dudes, catch on the flip side.